Uh, I love this version of Ezio's family. Man, the nostalgia. Anyways, welcome back everyone. Uh, last time we did Syndicate, we also did Unity a while back, but uh, now we're on Rogue. Um, probably one of the most underrated Assassin's Creed games. I realize it's gonna be a lot more difficult to do these videos for uh, the older games as we get into the older games because there is no difficulty settings and the games are generally pretty easy. So I was just thinking about it. I'm like, man, what a Rogue is a pretty short game. Like there's actually a good chance here that I could go through the whole game without dying. Like I'm pretty confident I could do this game if I really tried without dying. So, I mean, you might just, you might be watching a full playthrough right now. I have no idea. This should be interesting though. But uh, yeah, if you're unfamiliar with what I do here, I just, I start a new game from the beginning, try to get into it as far as I can. And obviously when I die, the video ends. That part's pretty self-explanatory. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to do Rogue. Um, What should I name it? Uh, luck. All right. <laughs> the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. God, he has such a cool voice. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me. Nor the cost I would choose to bear. This soundtrack is really underrated My as well. My name is Shay there he is. Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Oh, the music. Yeah, as far as opening speeches go, 10 out of 10. I'm not sure if any other Assassin's Creed game opens on a speech from the protagonist. I'm trying to think. Yeah, not really that I know of. So, yeah. well, hello, Leo. Don't like for firewood, at least. Yeah. And besides, no. Oh, that was just he's, luck. He's gonna say the thing. He's gonna I say the thing. I make my own luck, Liam. He said the thing. Let's see what they did. That little clever opening, since it was branded that this is a game where you play as a Templar. They start with a little subversion of expectations. Oh, I have my HUD off. Hmm. Should I keep it off? Maybe I should just keep it off. I, I can't see where I'm going. Hold on. Some nice tree parkour. Am I going too fast for you? I'm just keeping an eye on you in case you fall down and hurt yourself. Should All right, I, I want to know what you guys think. I I see a lot of Shea Cormac fans these days. I really like him as well. Hurry. Um, Best not keep Chevalier. Where does Shea rank in the series for you guys? Let me know. Where the hell were you two? We're out oh, hunting. This guy. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? That's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! Oh, I remember this guy and made it very easy to hate the assassins immediately. I think, I think that's intentional, too. How about that for some manners, huh? I make my own luck. How dare you show me such disrespect! I love how Liam's just watching. Oh, now he breaks it up. Gentlemen, stop! Take these. You'll need them. Little sword and dagger combo. That's what um Tread Basm is supposed to have in Probably Mirage. So. And I've actually I've they heard Mirage. Okay, I Liam. Um, I guess I'll. I don't. Okay. All right. I, <laughs> Liam just kind of went in. I wasn't really ready, but yes, we're doing it. Do I have any projectiles? Nope. Yeah, come on over here, buddy. Very nice. Right, I think we can double these guys. Nice and easy. There we go. Nice. Hello. Oh. Nice. 
nice. I've been playing quite a bit of Black Flag lately, so I'm pretty uh, <laughs> I'm pretty uh, good on the combat right now. Not that it's even that difficult at all, but woo, let's go. This is an awesome set piece. Yeah, this is. Ooh. I was saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Sheik. All right. Speaking of useless. Uncalled for. I make my own luck. That's this a horrible pilot. impression. All right, some naval combat now. If there's any part that I'd be worried about dying in this game, it's the naval combat. It's mine, ain't she? My own ship. Your own pile of garbage. All right, that's just uncalled for, man. But if there's any, oh yeah, that's right. You can like shoot the ice in this game and create waves. I don't think that's in Black Flag. I could be mistaken. If there's any part. In this game that I'm worried about dying, it's gonna be in the naval combat. Like, if I die, it'll probably be naval combat. Okay, wow, they're they're doing lots of damage. Nice. Tearing her to pieces! Do something! Shut up! I'm trying, man. Boom. Too easy. Shout out to the guy who's singing. <laughs> what course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Oh, Don't Achilles. Wise words, Captain. Wise words. Is this the title card? That music. Yeah, this is a nice change of pace from Valhalla. I just did like my uh. How far can I get an AC Valhalla without being spotted? It probably took like two hours to get to Valhalla's title card. It's this game, it took like kind of virus? five, ten minutes to get oh, to the title card. Oh yeah, that's right, the modern day. I haven't had to do much modern day stuff in these videos. You were just an animus. Animus, yeah, she's yes? yeah, she's mean too. Everyone in this game is mean. You work for Upstergo Entertainment, remember? All right, I get it. All, this ringing about. all right. Your session triggered something bad, and it's affecting Stop the whole Stop screaming building. exposition at me, okay? Melanie Lemay, zipper, chipper, overachiever. Why are you so annoying? Here, follow me. Oh. Double time. Oh, this feels this feels this weird. Oh, hey, Edward. On, How you doing? Okay? Uh, it's always good to see Edward. All right, all right, chill. I'm coming. Melanie LeMay. Is then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these. Not so Berg. But man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. Building. Is this functions. supposed to be Rebecca who did the virus? Marie? Man, this is jarring to play. <laughs> this feels so jarring in first person. Oh yeah, these puzzles. Uh, these are stupid. They're super simple. And uh I don't really get what they do for the game, but each one there we go. The assassins Ooh, Al Mualim. Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed. You know, I always, I think if they ever do make an Assassin's Creed 1 remake, if they expand it on Al Mualim a little bit more and his um his goals cuz that is pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I I should quit this job. Yeah, I'm going to go back to Shay. Um you're weird. I don't want to talk to you. Davenport Homestead. I love how this ties into AC3. <laughs> It has been a long time. Adewale. Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. He was a slave who freed himself. And hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. I love that they did this. It makes the story... A, like, honestly, if you're someone who hasn't, hasn't played Assassin's Creed before, it's probably better to play Rogue before Assassin's Creed 3. I think Rogue really enriches the story of AC3 and gives a lot more context. It's really cool. I like it. It's essentially a prequel, pretty much. I mean, you are uh, late. Hope. Oh, what did I miss? A pity. The boy has so much potential, but so little discipline. Hmm. All right. All right. What would you have me do? Well played. <laughs> Did Shay have a thing for hope? Kind of seems that way. Boom. Take your time. Boom. Let's go, Shay. Come on. 
I love seeing the assassin training. We don't get to see it enough. Come on, reload, Shay. <laughs> reload. It's something we're going to get to see quite Almost a bit of there. in Mirage as well. So I'm excited for that. Nice. Okay. There you go. You happy, Liam? Well done, Shay. Keep it up. Keep a lady waiting. I'm a lady. Here. <laughs> don't you nice dance move, Shay. <laughs> Look at how his, like, body Some contorts. Is true, the classic. What are you looking at? That's just not even for- What are you looking at? You like my- like my dance moves? Kisegawase. Is this guy- I was say it'd be cool if this guy is, like, somehow, like, related to Connor or his tribe. I'm not sure if he is. Tree parkour is so fun. I wish there was uh, more of it in these games. Alright. Let's make Connor proud, Shay. Use all your senses together to find prey. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's right. We gotta go to Lisbon, right? If I really try and put my mind to it, I think I can beat this game without dying in one one shot. Which means I might have to record this video over multiple days. Because I'm not about to go through the whole thing in one sitting, but... Though I probably could if I really wanted to, but, you know, it's not very long. Um, should be able to make it into the water. Imagine I just fall off and die. <laughs> and that's how the video ends. Uh, that would be funny. Especially after the, all that talk I did about possibly beating the game. You could be a right horse's arse when it comes to assuming everyone knows the same as you. I cannot help if Achilles wants me to be familiar with our counterparts in Europe and elsewhere. Said like his favorite son. Connor's his favorite and only son. Uh, Achilles Connor there. Davenport. It would have been cool if we actually saw Connor Davenport in this game. But at the same time, I kind of get it because... Uh, Maybe the that moment at the end of AC3 hits a bit harder. It is a little strange that they never showed him though. I think they could have shown a lot more with Achilles in this game. Fleshed him out more. Because Achilles is really the antagonist of this game and it's not explained very well why he's doing what he's doing. Oh great. Chevalier. The most unlikable assassin in the entire Trust me, series. Trust sell those lobster by the tongue in France. Ah! The cabbage farmer is returned. Why are you so Not mean? Time. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. Again, just uncalled for, man. I mean, it's no jackdaw, but the I Morgans are right. Are the you need not worry about the <laughs> Okay. So, Liam, what could you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. Nothing, apparently. I say this is a good day to lighten King George's pockets. Be careful. Right. Come on. Fire. There we go. Like I said, if there's any point I'd likely die in this game, it's gonna be in the naval combat. Show them what's Probably. Come on, man. Headshot. Headshot. Alright. Oh, we only need to kill five. One more. Alright, that's not fair. I'm not on the ship yet. You can't do- You jerk. Oh god, I'm almost dead. Oh, what the heck? No, 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 no. I cannot die like that. No chance. Am I freezing to death? Wait, can I, can I freeze to death? Jeez. Oh, that was close. That was so close. That was way closer than it needed to be. Alright, let's learn. Stay away from the fire. I mean, who would have thought? Uh, we'll salvage. Is this the place? The water in these games look really nice. I like. Let's do hull armor so we don't die as quickly. And, oh, we can do both. Okay, never mind. The chasseur is waiting for us. Yep, get out of the way. Oh. <laughs> My bad. I noticed when you move the wheel when you're in travel speed, the wheel's not actually moving. He's just moving air. 
That's funny. Oh, I guess we're fighting. Alright. Look, in this game, you can actually shoot the icebergs to damage ships, though. Which is pretty cool. Oh my! I sunk all of them! Oh my! That's OP! That iceberg coming in clutch! But what's the point of freedom? If you cannot breathe deep and enjoy it, it's a good quote. Stick to this continent like tar. I won't feel liberated until we pry them off. Seems to me we should just talk to them like men instead of skulking around. Oh, yeah, you can see Shay has his doubts about the assassins from and the beginning. Look. All right. The rum here is terrible. Let me see. That's not rum. It's. Oh, Delvee! What the devil is that? Whiskey. Well, the whiskey here is terrible. <laughs> okay, then. Le chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Oh, I make my own. I have oh, okay. On the same ship. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington. Of George Washington's brother. Man, look at the water. The water is beautiful. Like, just the way the waves move and stuff. Ah, oh, it's so nice. We are here to kill Lawrence Washington. Ah. Uh, who doesn't love parkour, man? Oh, okay. <laughs> My bad, Liam. <laughs> oh. Locate the ship. That ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. <laughs> and remember what he said. Washington must die. Yeah, I get it. I get it, man. Oh, what? Okay. Got some big stealth opportunities here. Okay, I guess he didn't hear it. Yep, come on. Oh, shoot. This is actually terrible timing. We got it. Okay. Hey, excuse me, sir. I, where's the... Never mind. Nice. Shoot, 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 shoot. Come on, climb, climb, climb. Climb. That guy did not see a thing. And, okay. He's dead. What? Okay. I... Man, so much for that. Pretty simply, actually. Never mind, this guy turned around. Okay. Whoa, why are you going that way? Oh, what the? That's not even what I meant to do, but it worked. I did not mean to climb. All right. Sweet. The air rifle. You there? Stand. Where you are. You're not getting up ever. We can use our air rifle here. Look at those fireworks. How nice. Yeah, air rifle him. Oh, nice. Man, the air rifle has got to be one of the best projectiles, weapons in Assassin's Creed. I put it up there with like the phantom blade. It works similar to the blowpipe, but it's just so much more effective. It also just looks cool and sounds cool, so. Oh, let's just synchronize real quick. What Assassin's Creed is all about, man. We got this nice area to infiltrate, a target to assassinate. Nice. I need to get to Washington first, then I'll worry about the artifacts. I don't- oh, okay, so if I get detect- I'm- I think I fail if I get detected, so... Just in case he turns around. Nothing to see here, folks. I love when you get to, like, infiltrate, like, a party or a ball or something. It's just so cool. It feels so immersive. You will die. Um, 
try and get up top. Is there anyone up here, though? Where are you at, George Washington's brother? You know what's crazy? I did not know George Washington had a brother until I played this game. George Washington had a brother? Huh? Oh, he's right there. Are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Ah, <coughs> uh, all the Templars are gathered. We all respect that sentiment, sir. Why does this guy have yeah, green-tinted glasses? Okay, that was close. Run, Shay, run, Shay. Ah, oh, there's a guy here still. Oh my god! My bad. Alright, let me get up top here again. Get a good overview. Okay, Shay, what are you doing? Alright. How can I do this? Let me go into this haystack. I did not think... That timing, I did not think he was going to turn around at that exact moment. Works out though, because the bushes are so OP. Oh, now you're going to die for being an idiot. This is hidden? Really? Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to shoot him. Oh my, I thought this scarecrow was a guard. <laughs> Oh man, I'm losing it. Sir. No, you don't. No, you don't. Gotcha. This guy has no idea. You are too late, assassin. Thank you for making my end a quick one. You're welcome. Anytime. Thank you. For revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. Ooh. I have to get to the Morgan. Okay. Gotta run. I wonder if that's historically accurate. Did Leah or what's his name? Lawrence Washington? Did he actually die here in real life? Like obviously Shay didn't kill him in real life, but I wonder if he actually died at this party in real life. Because they usually like to be pretty accurate with that. I don't know. You guys let me know. Let's go! Let's go! Oh! Okay, we're taking some heavy damage. Alright, alright, alright! Relax, man! Relax! Race! Alright, dude! We are- We are so outnumbered, this is not looking good. We just gotta get out of here, I think. Come on! I think we're good. Oh my, as I almost crash. They're still chasing us, so. Oh, and that was a close call. The readable but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? Why are you calling me names? It's so grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and Little Connor have passed. I, I've seen Achilles crying. I, See, it's clear that's kind of Achilles' breaking months. point, but... Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both could be lovely. See, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame <laughs> putting them on display. All right, Shay. But that's no slight against our lasses from home. Man, I think Shay just wanted to have fun and live life, man. I don't think he really cares for this assassin Templar stuff. Nice. We got the puckle guns. Nice little upgrade from what we had in Black Flag. You know, Rogue didn't make a ton of changes with naval combat or... I guess just gameplay in general, but they made some nice little ones. I think I saw that the Ubisoft studio that worked on Assassin's Creed Rogue is actually working on a new AC game. It's like their first uh, full project, because they're a small studio. That's why they were given Rogue. They're working on like their first um, full game since Rogue, I believe. Because usually they work on like DLCs and stuff like that, but it's pretty cool. I mean, there's tons of new Assassin's Creed games in the works. There's already like seven that are known. I'm also excited for the Assassin's Creed VR. It's supposed to be coming out this year. <laughs> that sounds pretty awesome. I'm excited to see what that looks like. Definitely gotta make a video on it. And we got him. 
gonna avoid that. Is that actually possible or realistic? Can you- that doesn't seem like it would be possible to set the ocean on fire? Like that? From a boat? Nonetheless, in this time period? Was that an actual thing? I don't know, that seems hard to believe. But, I mean, it looks cool. Okay, whoops. He's running. Can I hit him from here? Ah. Uh, you shall not get away. Behind you. <laughs> Alright, we're going combat, I guess. Fine by me. Where you gonna go, buddy? Nowhere for you to hide. How should we take him out? Think about what you're doing, assassin. Your brotherhood is using you. Yeah, yeah. You won't turn me against my brothers. That's not gonna happen until the second act. You will regret this. Oh yeah? Guys, how should we do this? Think about what you're doing, Ooh, rope dart? Stay right there. Alright. Uh, ready? <laughs> Brutal. No. Do you even know what that is? Man, this opening as an assassin is actually a bit longer than I remember. It hasn't even been that long since I replayed the entire game either. It was like a year ago. All right, let's take care of the rest of these guys real quick. Shout out to the guys who do make the death noises for these games. I, I really would like to see behind the scenes of that. No! Let's go. Uh, uh. Albany, 1754. Seven Years War is quite a uh, unique setting for Assassin's Creed. I appreciate it because it's a little bit less known than a lot of the other settings they typically go for. I really like when they go for a more unique setting rather than just the obvious popular ones. Even though those are still great, it's like, I think it's, uh, obviously Seven Years War, it's not like my favorite setting in AC, but I appreciate when they do stuff like that. Oh, I was in a restricted area? I didn't even realize. You're here. Shay, find Wardrop. Get that manuscript. Alright. I'm really liking this mission structure. Uh, lots of assassination missions and stealth. Always gotta love that. How am I gonna do this? There's a lot of them. Don't even think I need to assassinate anyone. I can just walk through. Of course he turned around as soon as I did that. Ah, uh, Benjamin Franklin. Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post haste. It's cool that they brought William Johnson into this game as well. Also from AC3. Can't let that lobster captain reach wardrobe. What is this guy a tank? There we go. <laughs> that was easy. I love this mission structure so far. Just a lot of black box assassinations. It's great. Let's uh, hit this guy with a sleeping dart. Got him. Doesn't matter if they see me, I already got him. We bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. Fair enough. But we have- we look cool. We have hoods and hidden blades. What do you have? Even the devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes. That's a good line. Oh, I thought I would die from that. I didn't even take damage. You're late. The sky is getting temperamental. That's not the only thing, is it? Oh. <laughs> All right, a tailing mission. You know, it's weird. I used to dislike tailing missions. Like, I think a lot of people do. But I've come to realize that I actually 
they're actually not that bad simply because it makes you feel like an assassin. Like, sure, and there are some tailing missions that are boring compared to others. And some games use them too much, like Black Flag. So many missions in Black Flag are tailing and eavesdropping, but I think um, when done right, they can actually be pretty effective at making you feel like a stealthy assassin. I'm not sure if they're going to bring them back in Mirage, but I wouldn't be opposed to it if they did, to be honest. Some conveniently placed free running. See, this is a pretty good tailing mission. You get to go through all these different environments, jump on rooftops. Thank you for showing me exactly where they are. No, you don't. Chase! Thank goodness! Uh, quick! Help me with the rods! Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Portugal. Lisbon, I'd stake my life on it. Yeah, this opening where you're an assassin is actually a lot longer than I realized. It's nice though. Uh, it makes when he uh, turns to the Templars more impactful. I think so. I think that's needed. Given your present knowledge of the site, this duty falls upon you. All right. Hopefully the city doesn't get destroyed or anything. Oh, and this is where it all goes wrong. Feast of all saints. What a sight. And here I am, looking for a relic from the time before Adam and Eve. <laughs> Strange days indeed. Portugal looks great. It'd be a shame if anything happened to it. All right, we gotta find this thing. I really miss parkour like this. <laughs> it's so fun. You know, I actually heard that Assassin's Creed Hexy could be like an Uncharted type game, which actually sounds really cool. Like it's not gonna be like a full open world. Instead it's gonna be a bit more linear, focusing on a lot of parkour and stuff like that. I think that sounds awesome actually. I'd love to see something like that. We're here. Ooh. What do we have here? The artifact. Huh. I wonder what this does. Let's take it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Dude, this sequence is so awesome. This has got to be one of the highlights of the game for sure. Actually, one of the, probably one of the cooler moments in the series as well. Man. And I believe there was actually an earthquake in Lisbon in real life at this time as well. So it's pretty cool how they tie that in. Obviously, it wasn't because of a precursor site, or at least not that we know of, but it was just an earthquake. Awesome. I'm so impressed, like, a game like Rogue that didn't get much resources and budget, they were still able to do something like this. So cool, man. Oh, 